From all walks of life, they gathered in front of the Labadi Beach Hotel to demonstrate against the sale of majority shares of the said hotels to the Rock City Hotel Limited owned by Minister for Food and Agriculture Brian Champon. Poised for action and to make their voices heard, organizers led a charged crowd escorted by the police. The president has shown to us that he means what he says and he says what he means. Right. So we insist that only the president can resolve this quagmire. He should announce today that they are backing out of this transaction because it is inimical, it is detrimental to our national welfare as a collective. So today we are telling the president that we will never be spectators and that we expect him to do the needful and leave the assets alone. Some protesters and passers-by had different agenda, from protesting the sale of the hotel to economic challenges. Me a businessman, and then me business in Yana say, and then me business in Yana go, me ye cast be a macrefra brochure bar, or my friend in Yana freemism. Into a mum's way, me hot, my hot and casa, me who's can you know, son, me new. The sale of this uh, hotels now, uh, in fact, it go against me. I'm thinking about it. That will, not me, but my great grandchildren, they will come to suffer for it more. So I wanted to come and take part in this demonstration. Supported by members of the minority caucus in parliament, they demanded an immediate hold to the sale. The government needs to stop this transaction from, from taking place. I mean, it's as simple as that. As a government, you are put, the assets of the people are put in trust with you. And if you start selling everything, taking over everything, what do you expect the people to do? Although expected to terminate to the Christ the King Church, where representatives from the presidency were expected to receive the petition, they were stopped at the switchback road. The reaction from the protesters elicited a response from the police, who unleashed pepper spray on the protesters. <laughs> Pepper spray. For the spring, pepper spray. There was a woman who just fell. She was just rushed to the hospital. When you have taken civilians by surprise, you decide to fire tear gas at them. We will inquire into this matter further, and certainly the police hierarchy will be dragged to parliament. They would have to answer for what they have done because we have done our part. We have been very peaceful. We have not breached any regulation. We have followed the route diligently, meticulously. So why this surprise? Why terminate prematurely? And why fire tear gas? And now as we speak, we've had to rush a number of people to the hospital. They better pray that there are no casualties. Presenting the petition to Deputy Chief of Staff, Emmanuel Adumwa Bosman, Samuel Okujitua Blakwa called for the dismissal of all appointees involved in the sale of the hotels. President Akufuado should promptly dismiss his appointees within his cabinet and those on the SNIT board and SNIT management for engaging in this scandalous transaction, which violates multiple laws and does not guarantee value for money. We call on President Akufuado to commit to assenting to a private member's bill, banning all politicians and politically exposed persons from buying state assets when Parliament concludes the bill and forwards same to his office. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.